What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So today I've got a little bit of a simple tutorial today actually. Uh, I'm bringing you a video where I teach you how to cut out hair. So I've done this probably, Christ, when I first started the YouTube channel probably like two years ago. I thought I'd bring you an updated version basically. So I've got a few new techniques, you know, a little bit of things that will make it a little bit easier to cut out and, and a few brushes that might help you as well. So I've seen, you know, in my Discord, links down below if you want to join that by the way, in my Discord a few people have asked for this tutorial um, and I do see a lot of people cutting out hair wrong and it just doesn't look very good. So what I'm going to be bringing you today is a simple tutorial on how to cut out hair. So, so uh, thank you for all the support on the videos. I hope you've been enjoying them and everything. Obviously leave a comment down below of what you want to see in the future and without further ado, Let's get straight into the video. So guys, as you'll see by the thumb title, thumb title, thumbnail, um, we are going to be cutting out Marcelo's hair. So obviously he has got pretty wild hair, so I thought it would be a perfect, you know, choice to cut his hair out. Uh, um, you know, because the, these are probably, I find, the hardest bits of hair to cut out just because they're just so, I don't know, that Photoshop doesn't pick them up very well. So first things first, what you need to do is get your image. So when, when we're starting off with this, usually what I like to do is some neural filters. So usually I get the neural filters and I just use some JPEG artifact removal. So what this does is it simplifies the, the clarity of the image. So it reduces some of the noise, it reduces some of the JPEG like artifacts. So artifacts are like little squares and stuff you'll see in a, in a lower quality image. Not so much lower quality, but any quality image there'll be JPEG artifact in. So if you use neural filters, you'll be able to pick out you know all of that and get rid of it. And then when you actually begin to cut out the hair and use Photoshop system, it'll be able to pick out the hair easier because it'll be easier to see and there won't be all this stuff, you know, act, you know, attracting it and stuff. So it'll be a lot easier to see. So while I'm waiting for this, I'm just gonna sit here and I'll be right back when it's done. Okay guys, so it's just finishing up now. We've got about five seconds left and this is just gonna smooth out the whole image as you'll see. So there you go, it just makes it a lot smoother. So we'll click okay and now we've got our image ready to work with. So I'm just gonna convert this to a smart object and prepare it for cutting out. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go up here and select our quick selection tool. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to go up here where it says select subject. Now this is going to pick out most of it for you. Um, it's going to make it quite simple. Uh, it's, it's a very good tool. I do use it for pretty much every design. So as you can see, I'm just going to go in here and we're just going to check out the selection. So here it's made a little bit of a mess. So what we're going to do is just going to go back in and fill that out. And if we go around, as you can see, there's little bits that we're going to have to fill out as we go along. But overall, it's made a pretty good selection, I won't lie. Um, there's obviously bits here, which are like the background stuff, which we're going to have to blend in. But overall, that's a pretty good selection. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to where it says select the mask. Now, once we click that, you're going to be able to see a little bit more of what's going on. So let's just uh, go in and have a look. And what we're going to see is when you're looking at this, you're going to see a lot of these bit. They're, they're like bits. They're like bits that it's selected and then bits that it's found in the background. So it sort of split them. So so what you're going to need to do is you're going to. I usually do this, but you can have to. You don't have to do it. But what I do is go around the edge with a refine edge brush tool. So it's up here. Just click that one. And this is what sort of brings out the texture a little bit more. So what you're going to do is you're not going to make the brush too big because it will. Um, ruin the uh, quality so we're going to make it fairly small just going to start going around the edge of the hair so usually where you can see bits of the background and edge of the hair that's where i go around so just like this very slowly so you don't lose the quality and then it will as you go along if i zoom in a little bit more it will bring some of the the hair back in as well because it, it, it's a tool that notices the background compared to the hair so this is the main tool that you should be using really for cutting out hair this is the best one um, this is the one will, which will give you the most success and uh, yeah, it's basically something you should be using. So just go around the edge like this very slowly like so. Now as you can see we're getting to a bit more of a clustered area here. So as you can see there's a lot more background involved in this as well. So you can see you're getting bits like this. So don't worry about that too much. Just keep going around and make sure you refine the edge of your hair. Now we can see that we've uh, sort of picked out a bit more hair. Now there's going to be bits like this. So there's bits like this here that don't look very good. You don't want those. So what I use is usually use the shift edge tool on the right. So usually if you shift the edge and see, you can bring it right in and it's gone. Usually I do this to about minus 20 
because if you do it too much it sort of ruins the cut and it just makes it look very stupid as if a basic like a beginner has done it so i wouldn't do that so usually about minus 20. now you can play around with these contrasting tools and and all that type, type of thing i usually put the contrast up to about 20 as well um because it sort of brings out the edges a little bit better and then feather you know you can play around with this a little bit more as well if you want um i i don't really use feather to be honest and smooth it, smoothing is okay but maybe do about like a free smooth and then radius radius is going to be the uh, edge of hair which you have so like obviously you can see if i put this up to 250 it's obviously cut into his hair a lot so usually put this down to zero and forget about it so now as you can see we've got a fairly decent cut there now it's not terrible it's not brilliant but we've still got a little bit of work to do on it so if you click ok now you've got your hair what you're going to do is you're going to add a layer mask to this so now, as we can see against this white background, it's a little bit rough. So we're going to go back in. We're going to get a soft brush this time. And we're just going to go where the to the edge of the hair where there's bits like this. So bits like this is something you want to paint back in. So I will just get a soft brush and I'll go into this and I'll just start painting this back in. It's bits that you know there's meant to be hair there, but it just looks a little bit, a little bit rough. So bits like this, you, you can paint this back in. It really, it will look better if you paint it back in than if you leave it. So I do recommend painting it back in. Um, and we'll just go down here, pick out these bits. Um, somewhere like here, that's meant to be quite thick hair. Same here. Uh, down here is fine. And here you can sort of get rid of some of this if you want. But we're going to be sort of dealing with that later. Because, you know, there's quite a lot to deal with here. Like here, there's obviously not meant to be much hair. So we're just going to paint that away because we don't want that. Don't worry because obviously it's, I can see it's quite jaggedy hair. So we're going to have a tool for that later, which will make this hair look even better. See here, it, it looks okay, but to be honest, we could do without that. Just get rid of it. Sometimes you will have to just get rid of bits of hair because because they won't they won't look very good, um, and it's just it's just better not to have them there. So up here we've got quite a thick clump of hair that's been cut away. Same here. Just going to bring all that back in. Okay, so now if I zoom out, it looks like we haven't cut it out again. Bear with me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a brush which I found online. There will be a link in the description down below for you to download this pack. I do recommend downloading it because if you don't, you're probably not going to be able to get past this stage. So you, you will want to download it. It's called the Concept Art Brush Pack. So there'll be a link down below and, you know, check it out. Definitely download it. There's a loads of brushes in here. But the one we're going to focus on is called Pelt One. If I can find it yeah here it is pelt one now this is quite a uh, interesting brush it is like a hairbrush so if I just go off this and create a new layer quickly I'll just show you what it looks like so it's like that that's what it's like so it's hair basically little bits of hair which will uh, basically make this look a lot better so what we're gonna do we're gonna get it in the position of which way the hair is gonna be going make it quite small and we're gonna select a black and we're just gonna start painting in you know you can see what I'm doing painting in on these edges so you don't want to do it too uniform so it's all the same but you just want to go around the edge and sort of just cut away at it if you if you sort of see what I mean already I mean I've done that like very lightly already you can see that there is a change so here we can see that it looks a lot more realistic compared to like up here so what we're going to do is we're just going to go around here now just paint away just keep clicking just click click on your layer mask with a black color selected just go in maybe make them a little bit different in certain areas just so it looks you know slightly different try and get rid of some of this loose hair here just because it doesn't look very good but make sure you just keep clicking because it, the more you click and the more you just sort of work it into the design the, the better it'll look and it won't look so fake because it's not gonna, it's it's never gonna look perfect. But once we put this onto a, like a design background and work this in, the hair will look good enough to sit on the design. So it won't look stupid, it's stupidly out of place. You know what I mean? So definitely work on this. Already, I'm feeling this is gonna look a lot better than it did. And also, when you add the camera filter as well, it looks better. So we've sort of got to a point now where we need to rotate the brush a little bit. So let's just go and rotate it a little bit more. So up here. Now we get it going the other way. Again, this is going to also make it look a lot different. Like this. Go in here. And sometimes if you do make a mistake or something, or if you go too deep into the hair, just switch the color and go back out, start painting outwards, which can also make it look quite nice. It, it sort of depends on, you know, what design you're working on or whatever. 
but this can make it work as well. So I'm going to keep switching between colors along the top here just because we've got quite a, quite a thick bit of hair and I want to keep making sure that it's all looking sort of the same but a little bit different each time. So let's just keep doing that. Okay, so this is looking really good. So if I zoom out now, we can already see the edges are looking a lot better. Um, and it, it's, it's never going to look perfect, especially when you've got hair like this. But this looks a lot better than it did um, instead of having like just clumps of it like that. And once, you, as I said, once you work this into design, you won't even really be able to tell the difference, to be honest. Especially when you blend it in with everything else. Okay. Let's paint some stuff back in here. Make it look a little bit different. Okay, now I need to change the brush angle again. Cut into this a little bit more. Perfect. This bit looks actually quite nice. I actually quite like this. I'm just going to go around the corners here. Just sort of round it off a little bit. Make it a little bit more rough. Brilliant. Now I know this is going to probably take up quite a large chunk of the video, this bit, guys. But this bit is essential to making the hair actually look good. As I've said many times over this bit where I've been cutting it out. Um, so definitely recommend getting the brushes. You can even use this on a beard as well. You can use this on, on pretty much anything, to be honest. Any bit of hair you have just to make it look a little bit more real. But having that done makes it look so much better than uh, if it was just, you know, something basic. So if I put this now, that now that I've cut it all out, now if I put this on a solid back, background, let's go for a dark blue. You know, you can see most of this is real hair. There's probably bits that we've missed out. So like up here, this looks a little bit funny. So maybe I'll, I'll go back in here and just start cutting it out a little bit more. But you can, these are things that you can play around with once you've actually got it in the design because it, it will look different, you know, in every different color and all that type of thing. So if you want to work it in, make it look more like your design, then that's fine. But I think that actually looks really good. You know, we've had a good cut out there. It all looks pretty real. Obviously there's little bits that are a little bit like, mm, he's cut that out. But overall it looks great. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That is how I cut my hair out. Basically it's that tool. That tool is very good. The pelt one. So I will, there will be a link down below. Make sure you download the art brush pack because it will make your life so much easier. And yeah, basically download it, get stuck in and make your hair look better. Okay? Make it look better. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like obviously. Comment down below what you want to see more of because I'm open to tutorials. Make sure you join up in the Discord and uh, yeah, get, get talking in there and popping in some designs. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.